All right, so last episode, we went through two games, mainly because we were getting blown out in game six here, and I decided to sim to the end. I have the stats here in Senju 2K. We're going to put in, but I had 39 points, and I rebound seven assists. I ended up simming to the end. And in game six, I ended up having 52 points, six rebounds, 14 assists, and five steals to force a game seven. Here are the stats from game five. Uh, we did not get the win, so we're going to accept that. 39 points. Now I got to put the stats in for game six. All right, and here are the stats for game seven. I had 52 points, six rebounds, 14 assists, and five steals. We did get the win. Going to accept that. And now we are heading into a game seven winner. We'll take on the San Antonio Spurs in the NBA Finals. And I'm not going to lie. We can't even take care of the Cavs. If we make it to the Finals, we're probably getting swept. All right. It's time for the two best words in sports. Game 7. The first Game 7 of Cedric Lewis's young career. Last year, he stormed through the playoffs up until the conference finals where we took a loss in five games to the Miami Heat, who went on to lose in the NBA Finals. And in this series, it feels like the Cavaliers have just dominated every game. Okay, we're, going, we're starting off great. feels like the Cavaliers have dominated every single game. But here we are in a game seven. I don't know why I'm all the way down there. We're off to a terrible start. All right, we're off to an 0 for 4 start with two turnovers so far. So this is going great. And if you forgot last episode, uh, Darius Garland is out for the year. So they are starting John Wall at their starting port guard position. And they are off to a 9 nothing run to start off this game. And that should end it. We finally get something on the board. And after a 9-0 run, we have gone on a 12 to two run ourselves, and that is going to force the Cavaliers into a time out. So far, we haven't had issues with the rebounding. I hope that continues, and we can continue to get defensive rebounds and not give up offensive ones. Donovan Mitchell gets a wide open three. He misses. And, oh, I thought we'd just give up an offensive rebound right there. I'm going straight to the basket. They can't keep up with me. We are on now a 14 to two run, and I have 10 points. Oh, another steal. Lowry marketing. The Hornets on a run. It continues. 25 to 4 run. Ever since going down 9 0 to start the game, Lewis is averaging 52 points and 11 assists in the conference finals. And the Cavaliers need another timeout. What an answer back for the Hornets. 25 to 4 run. Cedric Lewis. I was wide open, but it's fine, LaMelo. Give me that. That's a yoink. That's a yoink. I'm going out to the perimeter. And that's a good release. Fourth three of the game for Lewis. 20 in the quarter. And Kendrick Nunn is going to extend the run. And the lead is back to three. This are just defense is sad. It's honestly just sad and embarrassing. And LaMelo Ball does not help. We will get the final possession of the quarter, though. God, my my time of LaMelo Ball, it, it's slowly going down. It is slowly going down our time together. And Nick Richards is going to pull that. And we're not even going to get points to end the quarter as we end it only up by three. We were up by, I think, 13 at one point. All right, Cedric's getting subbed out to start the second quarter. Up by three. Let's see where a bench unit can do. Up by two. I will definitely take that. We've extended the lead to a let. We've extended the lead to nine. Thanks, Aiden. Uh, but you know, nine point lead on this team, I will take any day of the week. I've been pushing the pace, really being aggressive on offense with shots like that, and they've been automatic. Thirty first half points. Thirty out of our fifty three points are based off of Cedric Lewis. Actually, more than that, because I do have five assists. I have probably been responsible for probably I want to say maybe forty five, close to it. Of our 53 points as Aiton, you got to play some good defense here. And he does. That's great defense by DeAndre Aiton as we now get another rebound. Let's reward the big fella if we can. If we can, we cannot. Uh, Aiton, come back. Come back, come back, come back. We're going to set you another screen. And, of course, I get that animation. I'm just going straight to the rack and I get fouled. And it looks like the Cavaliers are going to run out a majority of this clock to try and take the last shot. Of the quarter 
Four seconds left. They're going to have to get a shot off soon, and it's not going to be a good one. Cole Anthony contested. He's going to miss, but Kai Jones gets the offensive rebound. It's blocked. We're going to the halftime of Game 7 with a 57-44 lead. Malvin Mitchell is ace code. Ace code. And we have been dominating this game. 3 of 12, 1 of 8 for Donovan Mitchell in the game so far. In a game 7, they have needed Mr. Darius Garland in this one. And they are now in a 19-point deficit. Make that 1 of 9 for Mitchell in the game. And I'm going straight, attacking the basket. And I'm going to get fouled once again. We are out-rebounding them and out-rebounding them on the offensive glass. That is the recipe for success. Success. For success, and uh, right now we're looking like we are going to punch our ticket to the NBA Finals. We're looking like the 2023 Miami Heat, even though we did not go up 3-0. Uh, we are dominating Game Seven. All right, I'm going to sub out here. We have a 16-point lead right now in the third quarter. I'm going to be subbed out to the start of the fourth, and we are up 23 points. This game is more than over unless they decide to mount a historic comeback here. I think it's safe to say we're heading to the NBA Finals. And Cedric Lewis will probably be a part of the Charlotte Hornets next season, especially if we make the NBA Finals. But don't let it be um, said that we will be making – that saying does not make any sense. We will be making changes in this offseason, win or lose the NBA Finals. Lowry Markkinen is most likely gone. We need a better small forward, and we need more defensive-oriented power forward, seeing that uh, DeAndre Ayton is our starting center. And facing teams like – the Cavaliers and stuff like that, and the Spurs, who we're going to have to go up against with Giannis and AD, we're going to need a much better defensive front court than Lowry Market and DeAndre Ayton because Ayton cannot be our best uh, defensive front court player uh, for us. It just can't happen. It's fitting that Donovan Mitchell hits his first shot of the quarter on LaMelo Ball. I had this man scoreless in this fourth quarter, and LaMelo Ball just comes out of nowhere and says, Yeah, you know what? I'll give you a bucket. They, he played that possession beautifully because I I saw Jared Allen come to guard me, to double-team me, and I thought Nick Richards would be open, and he was not. Throw that up. Lowry, your ass is gone next season, bro. I need I need someone with a 99. I need Steph Curry on my team, and that's a teammate that will finally be able to shoot threes. Wow, that went right into my hand. What was that? Uh, nope, okay. They are double-teaming the hell out of me. Y'all down by 30, and now you decide to double-team me. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, you guys are without Mr. Darius Garland, so I guess that's an excuse for you guys to get blown out like this. But he wasn't even doing much. It, let's be honest. It was really Evan Mobley and Jared Allen that just completely... And even Cole Anthony that completely dominated us. But it looks like the Cavaliers cannot out-rebound their way out of this one as we have had the glass completely covered. And we are going to head to the NBA Finals for the first time in my sh short career. I, it would have been not, What are you doing, marketing? That's the shot you hit? All right, I'm just going to run out the clock here. I'll probably get another shot off just because, I mean, we got to. And, yep. Oh, I'm getting fouled. Come on, man. I don't want to end this off on free throws. But the Charlotte Hornets are heading to the NBA Finals on the back of Cedric Lewis's 52 points. Six rebounds, 12 assists, and probably like three steals. I forget how many steals I had. And the Cavaliers, who felt like they were dominating this series throughout six of these games, fall short, losing in embarrassing fashion in a 35-point loss here on their home court. And the Hornets are heading to the finals for, I don't even know, the second or third time in franchise history? Maybe the first? I really don't know. I know it's the first time in the past, like, decade, past decade. But the Hornets and Cedric Lewis will meet Giannis, AD, and the San Antonio Spurs. And the first time we played them, them in this season, they blew us the hell out. And they'll represent the East in a final series that's mere days away. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the... And would you look at that? We actually get to see the celebration, unlike in my career. And would you look at this? For once, it's not my team, and it's not me dropping a boatload of points and having my teammates not show up. Look at this, dude. 
25 points for Evan Mobley. He absolutely dominated this game. I mean, you can't say much for him, how young he is. He just won. No, Darius Garland. Did he win? Did Mobley win the MVP or did Garland win the MVP? Mobley. So the MVP showed out in this series. And then Donovan Mitchell, where they needed him the most. He was absolute dog water in this series. Shooting under 50% in every single game but one. That's bad. And that's really bad. 10 points, 4 of 19 shooting, 1 of 12 from 3. I had this man in hell. In hell. And that once again adds to my pedigree of being the best defender in the league. Cole Anthony, his reign of terror ends. As you can see, he was just great all series. He had two bad games. Now three bad games. He only has 9 on 4 for 12, 1 for 5. John Wall, 4 of 10, 0 for 4 from 3, 8 points. And Jared Allen, the probably the biggest X factor in this series... Was a no show. Eight points, eight rebounds, had four turnovers as their center, only two offensive rebounds. And for the Hornets, 52 points, five steals, amazing efficiency for Cedric Lewis. 21 and 11 for Lamelo Ball. He decided to wake up. And other than that, not much. Not much at all. Eight and gave us 12 rebounds, but I mean, this right here was enough. That's going to be for me. I'll see you all in the finals.